How's it going guys, Hyper here. Today I will show you how to upload your own combat logs to warcraftlogs.com. First of all, what are logs? File logs save everything that happened during a fight which can be uploaded to a website where you can compare yourself to others or use them to improve your performance. Pretty much all mythic guilds upload logs, but I highly recommend uploading even if you're a casual raider because it will help you improve or it will help you find the guild later on since most guilds look at logs. Even if others in your raid upload logs, it's good to know how to do it instead of waiting for other people to upload them for you. First thing you will do is go to warcraftlogs.com and make an account. Now after you made an account, you can sync it with your bnet, but it's not exactly necessary. After you have your account, just log in and on their main page you will see this get started button. Just click it and scroll down to uploading logs. Then under there, click on where it says here and it's highlighted. This will just take you to a download that allows you to install their software that you have to use when uploading logs. The next thing you want to do is go to your game, go to system settings, Go to network and make sure you have advanced combat logging enabled. What this does is it records more accurate data which allows you to compare rankings to others. If you have it turned off and you upload logs you will still be able to tell what's going on but you won't be able to compare ranks to other people. Now that you have that enabled you just have to decide how you will record your logs. The simplest way is just type in slash combat log which will turn it on and then type it in again which will turn it off. Now you will get a notification for it in chat that it's been enabled and then when you type it in again it's been disabled. I personally always forget to do this so instead I just use an add-on for it. I use Exorcist Raid Tools and have been using it for the past two weeks haven't had a single issue with it. It's super simple and straightforward but if your guild doesn't use Exorcist Raid Tools I will just use Loggerhead. I will show you within both add-ons how to enable this. If I just type in slash RT, which pulls up the Exorcist Raid Tools, I go to Saving Log, and then Enable It. This will enable it in all raids, and also if you want to do it in Mythic Pluses, you can enable that here. So these are the only two settings in Exorcist Raid Tools. If you want an add-on dedicated for logging, you should use Loggerhead, that has more settings, and every time you zone into a new dungeon or new instance, it will ask you if you want to log that combat. Now, after your raid is over, you've recorded the log. The next step is pulling up the Warcraft uploader software that you installed earlier. We'll just pull that up. Now on the home screen, uh, you have three options. You can upload the log, live log, split a log. If you upload logs the way I do, you will never have to worry about splitting a log. And live logging is also something that you can use instead of recording a log with an add-on but I'm not going to go over that. So you can just click upload the log and then you have to choose the file where the log is located. For me it's under C, World of Warcraft, logs, and then wowcombatlog.txt. It will always be in your wow for folder under logs and it will be called wowcombatlog. Now if you don't have a log recorded then you won't be able to select it. So you can't do this until you actually have a, something logged, a raid, a dungeon, anything. We just open that. The next step is choosing where to upload it. Now if you have your bnet synced up, you will have the options of uploading to straight to your guild. Or you can just upload it as a personal log. I prefer to upload it as personal and you just select the region you are playing from. Next, you just give it a name that you can recognize. For this, I did a random heroic. We'll just call it heroic log video. And you can select public, private, or unlisted. The only reason to upload a private log is if you don't want someone to see it. Um, only time I do this is on progression, when I just upload a bunch of wipes that I want to analyze. But if I'm uploading farm bosses and kills, I'm going to upload this straight to public so everyone in the guild can take a look at it. This I will upload as private because it doesn't really matter. Now, there's you see that there's this slider here that you can turn on and off. What this does 
is if you forget to delete a log after you upload it and you don't have this turned on it will ask you to split the log which is just a pain to do and it's so unnecessary instead you just turn this on and every time before you upload it will ask you what boss is and specifically what fights you want to upload so for example let's say you did an emerald nightmare raid you wiped like a few times on each boss but you only want to upload the kills within this you'll, you'll have that option to select it next you just hit go it will scan your log and you see that it pulled up every single kill that I had within the heroic dungeon now in a raid you will have also wipes listed uh, it will just have the encounter the difficulty and then it will say wipe and the number of wipes in parentheses to select any of these you can just hold down control and click on the ones you want to upload or you can if you want to upload all of them you just click on the top one hold down shift and click on the bottom one or if you just want to upload one log then you just click on an individual one in this case I will upload all of them and hit go now it will upload everything if you did a raid this might take a little longer and also scanning might take a lo little longer if you have a bunch of logs accumulated now after you upload it you will have a chance to view the report delete it or archive it make sure you click on view report and make sure everything is alright and it uploaded everything correctly under rankings you want to make sure that that works now for heroics there's no rankings obviously but if the rankings don't pull up just click this export button and that will pull it up um, just make sure that that's alright after you've confirmed that everything works just delete the log now you can't do this until you actually log out of the game and exit the game completely so that's why I always forget um, but I recommend deleting logs because if they accumulate like they can take up gigabytes of, of space on your hard drive I hope this video helped if it did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content if you have any questions or have a topic you would like me to make a video on leave it in the comments section until next time have a good one